Hello everyone, I'm Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at PrecisionElect.com. That's Precision-ELEC.com. Your industrial automation service center drives, motors, controls, automation. We've bought, sold, and repaired them for about 30 years now, since 1983. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. This video continues our series on the ACS355 variable frequency drive. We're going to be talking about advanced speed control. And speed control, essentially, in our previous videos, covered just the settings in the macros. Now, the macros, like I usually say in these videos, I know I repeat myself often, are a great starting point for most people because they give you a full, not only a wiring diagram, but a full setup of common wiring and common setups for most people who are actually wiring and setting up an application. Now, the purpose of this video would be to cover what are called advanced speed control options. As with the previous video, sometimes the speed control uh, settings in the macros don't really fit your application, and it makes more sense to get a little more creative in those situations. So what we're going to do is we're going to be digging into parameter group 11 in your manual. So I recommend you usually follow along in the manual as you uh, watch the video. And we're going to go through some of these speed control options and give you an idea of what you can do. Okay, so to get into parameter group 11, first you just press the menu button from the home screen. You go to parameters and you press enter. And then you use the up and down arrow keys to get to parameter group 11, reference select, and then you press select. Now, once we're inside here, I'm gonna go through the first couple of these because they can be somewhat confusing. And then we're gonna get into actually the different speed options we have. So 1101, is the keypad reference select. This is basically your default reference selection. This is the, when you're in local control, what essentially the drive is looking for to get its speed. Now the macro I chose actually by default is looking at the speed pot. So in my case, I can actually go in here on 1101 and I can change what my keypad looks at when I switch to remote control. So right now I'm just having it look at reference one and that's really what you need to remember, is reference one is the default. That's the most important thing because when we go into parameter one, 103, we're actually gonna define what reference one is. The purpose of these first two parameters does, is to let you switch between two different speed references. Let's say you're in the middle of running off of a speed pot and you suddenly want it to switch over to a external analog reference from like a PLC. So, what this can let you do is essentially switch between, these first two parameters can let you switch between two different references at the same time. Then we define what those references are in 1103. So let's get through that. So I'm gonna just do the default. So reference one, that tells the drive, look at my reference one. We're gonna skip over the selection because right now I'm just telling it to look at external one, which is our standard keypad. And I'm going to go straight into this reference one select. This is parameter 1103, reference one select. The macro I chose set this to analog input one. So 1101 says, okay, look at reference one. 1103 says reference one is analog input one. So it's looking at my speed pot. Now, naturally, I wired a speed pot for analog input one. You could just as easily wire a external zero to 10 volt signal of any kind to analog input one. You're not limited to just a speed pot. But if I press edit on 1103, then I can actually start scrolling through different options for my speed. So in this instance, I might have it set up for analog input one, but maybe I have my input wired to analog input two, so I can actually press the up arrow key. Now each of these options corresponds to the manual. So analog input one or AI one just says analog input one, that's what I'm gonna look at for my speed. If I go up, AI2 says analog input two. I'm gonna look at analog input two for my speed. Analog input one joystick, this gives you the option to actually uh, not only adjust the speed, but the direction with a custom joystick input. So let's say that's the kind of uh, controller you have with your machine. There's actually a preset for the speed reference just for that. We also can use that on analog input two joystick. And then we can start to get creative with preset speeds. So as you go down through this list, you'll start to understand a little better uh, how you can do with inputs. Uh, actually, what's kind of cool about the DI3U and 4DR actually lets you control the speed by holding down inputs. So in other words, it's saying if digital input three is enabled, the speed's gonna go up. 
if digital input four is, in, is enabled, the speed's gonna go down. So you can actually use push buttons as a way to control your increase and decrease in speeds. They called these MOPs in the uh, previous generation of drive for the lenses, but uh, essentially that's what that's for. COM is actually a communications, so if you have some kind of an external communications card connected with this drive, maybe you have Profibus, DeviceNet, Ethernet, this will let you actually send the speed command through that network. You can actually use a combination, which is your communication plus analog input one. This lets you add, this lets you add a trim. So you wanna trim a speed with an external speed reference. So there's all kinds of different features, and essentially I could go over all of them, but as you can imagine, there are quite a few different ways to, to change the way you control your speed. The main purpose of this video is to make you aware that there are numerous ways to actually start your control, I mean, change your speed, and actually adjust the speed of your drive at any given moment. And uh, the nice thing about this is, because of that variety, you can usually always find something that'll fit your needs for the reference, so that you can actually come up with a creative solution for whatever you might need. If I scroll down here a little more, on the, I'm on the main parameter group page again, I can get to reference to select. As I said earlier in this video, there is actually a, uh, a way to toggle between two different speed references. So if you need to look, be able to switch between a speed from a PLC and a speed from a speed pot, you can do that. So reference to select, it lets you go in and actually select what you want your second speed reference to be. And that's pretty much it. That's how you go in and change uh, your speeds to varying speed references. And it actually, it's a, it's a brief summary of all of them included. Like I said, make sure you check the manual. They have very good descriptions of each, uh, each speed option. Also with an explanation of how to set it up. So that's all there is to this video. This covers the advanced speed control options on the ACS355 variable frequency drive. It's one of our favorite drives. Uh, it works for almost 98% of applications. And because of all the options, and I only covered like 30% of them in this video, it fits nearly anything you can think of, any of your machine configurations. So if you're in need of something custom, don't hesitate to call us. And also don't forget to visit our website at precision-elect.com where your industrial automation service center drives, motors, controls. And I uh, hope you like this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next lesson.